Helium, it's the element most commonly known for filling balloons, but it's not used for just funny voices and parties. I really shouldn't be doing this. <laughs> It's vital in the medical community. We can't run our imaging facilities, really our MR scanners, without helium to facilitate the flow of electricity. So it's, it's critical. But now, with a global helium shortage, due to less production in the U.S. and the war in Ukraine, warning lights are flashing for doctors like Dr. Lawrence Tannenbaum, a radiologist for more than 30 years. We all have a high degree of alertness over and are, I imagine, looking for whatever sources we can to uh, make sure that we really don't run out. This is because MRIs work differently than a typical X-ray, which relies on radiation. The MRI uses superconducting magnets that only work if cooled down by liquid helium. These produce magnetic fields which align the atoms in the body, followed by radio wave pulses which help the machine generate the image. The result is a much more detailed, high-resolution image of what's inside. And without MRI technology and without the ability to see inside the body with an MRI, is that essentially tying the doctor's hands behind her back? They can't do everything they need to do? Oh, absolutely. I think uh, it's been clear for some time that cross-sectional imaging has been the heart of the hospital operation. Even when I was in the ER, if it weren't for MRIs, we'd have potentially missed many deadly strokes. And any doctor will tell you that this is one of the gold standards for getting the most precise image we use to diagnose and treat patients. And none of this could happen without helium. If the temperature goes too high, then the electrical resistance goes too high and it can't maintain the current. So it's really, uh, you need the low temperatures in order to maintain the current. Those temperatures, 452 degrees below zero. A new system requires a lot of helium, uh, definitely over a thousand liters using the current models. In the U.S., there are currently about 12,000 MRIs in use with a lifespan of roughly 12 years. Each machine uses about 10,000 liters of liquid helium. The Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade uses about 400,000 cubic feet of helium. However, converted to liquid helium, it would run about the lifetime of two MRI machines. With no real way of getting this precious commodity back, companies have to create ways to keep these machines running. There have been developments over the last few years to reduce the need for helium in magnets. But I actually think that you will see a progressive trend towards building magnets that are helium free. And Dr. Torres joins us live now. So how worried should we be about getting MRIs right now? You know, at this point, not. October of 2022, you can still get your MRIs. The machines are still working. It's what's going to happen over the next few years if that supply doesn't get replaced. Of course, the war in Ukraine, Algeria is another area we get it from. We're not getting as much from there. So hopefully they can replace that supply. They're also making the machines so they don't need as much helium. So hopefully that works as well. All right. Interesting, important story. Thank you, Dr. John you Torres. Appreciate it. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.